select these and say control X and put that one down control V and then take my utilities here control X and control V and so that looks good and then miscellaneous is typically on the bottom so so let's take actually the supplies I'm gonna move the supplies down control X control V let's take the utilities should be underneath I mean the miscellaneous should be at the bottom control X control V and then I'll take these three I think that messed up my subtotal here because it's but that's okay hold on because this is not this needs to be taken that into consideration but that's okay well let me do it there now we're back we got the zero we didn't do anything funny we're gonna take this whole thing control X and put it right there and so there we've got a bit more condensed thing looks a little looks a little nicer doesn't it i feel like i feel like it's nicer so then i'm going to take Control x and put that up here we'll get rid of our zero thing on the right looks very nice so then i'm going to then let's do a selection of these items and go to the alignment and indent and then select this item alignment and indent let's put an underline under the 185 font group and underline and so there we have our total other operating so then we're going to give our that's going to get us to our other or let's call it let's call it net operating income operating income we'll subtract out the gross profit minus the the other total other operating expenses so we're, we're looking one seven four three I can double check that number now I could just like select all this stuff down to here and say does that check out do I get can I do a double check on that one one seven four three check check double check has been passed and then I'm going to put a f underline on this one and then I'm going to put these last two because they're not part of normal operations in another category, other income and expenses. You could break them out into other income and then other expenses, but I'm going to group them together so it's a little bit more condensed. Other income and expenses. Now, because I'm in, uh, I have both income and expenses, I want the income to be positive, the expenses to be negative. So I'm going to pick this up and maybe maybe down here the expense is more more important but let's let's first pull them in before i start messing things up and so i need to flip the signs because so i need i need to say negative of the gains because i want the income to be positive and it's a credit down here and then if i copy that down there's our our expenses which are going to be negative in this last category I'm going to do an indent here. We're going to indent. And then I might say, well, the negative one is more important. Maybe it's bigger. Maybe I put that one on top. So maybe I reverse this. Control X. Put that underneath. Control V. Take these two. Control X and put that up top. Control V. Maybe I'll do that. And this is going to be total other income and expenses. There's no maybe about it. I did do that. It's not a possibility. It's a certainty we're going to indent twice here we'll put an underline here font group underline summon it up in the outer section equals the s u to the m shift nine picking those two up we're at the 419 and that'll finally get us to the bottom line called net income net income we'll put an underline here font group and underline our last sub stop along the way was the this uh, net operating income we'll add that to the 419 which will be a subtraction because that's that's a negative number that gives us our 1324 which we could tie out down here because that's just summing up our column and because we have such a well crafted and beautifully constructed uh trial balance then we can check it check it out with a double check right there easy and i'll just say check check boom boom double checked and then we'll put a we'll put a two underlines font group double underline w underline and so there we have it let's make let's do our our blue and border thing we'll go around this thing and say let's blue blue and borderize it we'll go up top font group blue 
right there and borders. Let's check the spelling while we're here. Did I do any spelling? Some horrible, horrible spelling thing? No. Shockingly, no. Apparently, at least spell check says so. I trust you, spell check. You failed me in the past, but usually you do a pretty good job. So then I'm going to make another skinny. We're going to do the statement of equity. Statement of equity. Statement of equity. Increase the indentation here. We're going to then do a black and white uh, cells up top font group and making this black and white. And then we're going to say that this is going to be a beginning balance. Begin beginning equity. The beginning equity is going to be from the trial 